Hi, I'm Rob, and I'm gonna walk you through this boxer's core workout. Let's get to it. First movement we wanna do is hands on the head like this. We're gonna go right elbow to the left knee, and then left elbow to the right knee, and then we're gonna straighten the legs out. Let's follow along. Like this, right here. Straight leg as you reach for it, straight leg as you reach for it. Opposite elbow to knee, opposite elbow to knee. Both hands reach for that extended leg, and it's totally okay if you can't extend those arms to that leg and reach it. As high as you can go is fine. That's where we wanna be, because any movement is good movement. Let's keep going. Get that breathing going. There we go. Deep breath, let's do one more. Straight leg, and straight leg, and arms down, nice deep breath. Let's go into a class favorite, the starfish, a beautiful modified version. So we're gonna drop down into that small ball. We're gonna explode the arms up as we step out and bring it back in. Same thing on the other side, just like that. You can adjust that as you need. You don't need to go all the way down to the ground. If you like to, you can go right down. And if you want to, just a nice little cushion in the knees. Keep going. That's it. I'm breathing in the nose, out the mouth. I'm using that exhale to control any discomfort that I'm feeling. For three, for two, and the last one, time. Bring it in. <sighs> nice deep breath to recharge. Take one or two or three, however feels comfortable for you. Let's make our way down to the mat. We're gonna be sitting down. Once you're on your bum, I want you to make sure that your legs are out at a comfortable distance for you. What we're gonna be doing is lifting each leg at a time as we clap with both hands underneath. So it's okay if you can't lift your legs, just go ahead and reach for that clap underneath and that's not a problem. When we're lifting our legs, we're gonna lift and clap at the same time. So let's go for it. I'm breathing in and controlling, regulating that breathing, regulating the movement, finding a nice little rhythm that works for me, just like that. Arms coming up, gonna give it a bit of a reach. Another five, four, three, two, and time. Nice little sit up straight here, deep breath. Now let's make our way down to the mat with our chest to the floor. Nice and straight with our body, chest down. Let's bring these hands right here next to the ears, planted down nice and solid, okay? Once we're in this position, we're gonna do a baby cobra. We're gonna use our back muscles as best as possible. And what we're gonna do is lift the chest up off the ground. Use these arms for support if you need to at the beginning. So just lift, you can push here off the ground for a count of three, two, and one, bringing it back down. Deep breath. When you're ready for it, let's do it again. Deep breath, holding it for three, for two, for one, dropping it back down. And let's do it again. For three, for two, and for one, dropping it. We're gonna do this three more times, but this time let's try not to use our arms to push into the ground. So what we're gonna do is try to just use our back muscles and lift. If you need to lift these arms off the ground to really engage, that's okay. If you still need those arms on the ground, that's totally fine. We're holding it for three, two, one, and we're breathing as we drop down. Big deep breath. Two more, we're almost there. And we're lifting up. You can keep a neutral chin if you haven't yet. You can drop your face down when you're looking. You can look down when you're holding it up for three, 
two, one, dropping down, and the last one right here. Deep breath. We're making our way up. We're holding, engage for three, two, one, drop down. Take a big deep breath if you need it. Make your way back up. We're gonna go into a plank. And when we go into this plank, your knees are gonna be dropped down to the ground, nice and strong in those arms. And what we're gonna do is hold it first for a bit, really feel comfortable with where we are. Then we're gonna start with punching up and forward as we go. All right, let's plant our arms down. Find that placement for your knees. It might be a little farther than feels comfortable. And if you don't like that, you can always bring them in a little bit more and lean forward with those shoulders. But if you can, bring them back and let's just hold that right there. Nice and straight. You can see my bum is lower. We don't want it too high. Work towards getting it low. Still engaging the core, pulling that belly button to the spine, breathing. And when you're ready, we're gonna punch forward with one arm, punch forward with the other. You can feel that weight transfer over. And if you can, it's best to not rock back and forth. You wanna try to keep your hips steady as best as possible, but we gotta start somewhere, so do what works for you. We're breathing here when you can for a big deep breath, for five, for four, for three, for two, and our last punch, time. Take a nice deep breath here, maybe a couple if you need it. Big inhales. Nice controlled exhales is what's gonna help you lower that heart rate. Feel really good, comfortable. And make sure you kind of take good attention to that core. Make sure you feel like you've used this core this whole time. So now that we know all the movements perfectly, let's stand up and let's start from the top and make our way back down to the bottom for a second time. Let's go. Find your place where you feel comfortable and tall. Arms are up behind the head. And let's go for it. We're going right elbow to the left knee, left elbow to the right knee, both arms to that straight leg, extending. Let's continue. We're going at your own pace if you need to. Always an option to add a little speed if you want. <sighs> Intention is what we really wanna feel here in the core. I'm trying to really feel that twist, feel that crunch as I reach for that straight leg. Just like that. Perfect. We're gonna do another two more from here. This is one, straight leg, straight leg, and the last one, straight leg, straight leg. Deep breath, come back home, big deep breath. <sighs> Release anything that you're feeling that's uncomfortable. And when you're ready, let's go into that starfish. So we're coming down into that small ball, stepping out and up, coming back in, and we're repeating that from the small ball, real big, with the step out. Just like that. You guys are doing great, keep going. Make sure to breathe. Feel the control, the balance, and the stability that your core is providing right now. Just accept that at whatever level or pace you're at. For three, for two, and time. Nice deep breath. Once you're regulated, we'll be sitting and we're gonna clap underneath those legs. Nice extension on the legs here, as far as you like. Lean back just a little bit. When you're ready for it, we're clapping. Lifting each leg once at a time. That's it. You can really reach for it if you'd like and engage that core as well throughout this whole movement. Just like that. Clapping under, breathing at the same time, trying to make everything flow simultaneously. For five, for four, three, 
to, and time to the floor. Baby Cobra, right here next to the ears, and lift. We're holding it for three, two, one, and we're breathing as we drop down. Big deep breath. Two more, we're almost there. And we're lifting up. You can keep a neutral chin if you haven't yet. You can drop your face down when you're looking. You can look down when you're holding it up for three, two, one. Dropping down. And the last one right here. Deep breath. We're making our way up. We're holding. Engage for three, two, one. Drop down. Big deep breath if you need it. Make your way back up. Once you're in this plank position, we have the knees moving back. Our arms are nice and strong and steady, strong in the shoulders as well, pushing the middle of our backs up and out as best as possible. Straighten the legs and make sure your bum is a little lower than you think it is. We're gonna hold that right here. Just catch a deep breath or two. Make sure you feel the activation in your core. Pull that belly button to the spine. And once you have that feeling, let's start punching forward with each arm. Reaching out as far as you can. Nice twist on those punches. If you really twist it good, you'll get a snap at the end of that. Feels really empowering. We're bringing it back. Trying to keep those hips as steady as possible for five, for four, for three, for two, and time. That's our last punch. My core feels activated right now and I really hope yours does as well. Keep practicing and I hope you just feel stronger every time.